this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make a slightly more complex card using JND410 Sam's baubles. And we've got two baubles here hanging by the little sort of bit of ribbon with the bows on in a mixture of colours of emerald and white. So I'll bring in the die set and this is the new John Next Door Sam's baubles. This comes with five dies, so you get three separate insert dies get an outside bauble and you get the crown for the bauble as well. And this has been sized so that it matches with all of the dies coming within this collection and with the rest of the collections for Christmas from John Next Door for 2023. So we're going to start with a piece of coconut white card. And this has already been cut down to size. So this has been cut to a very simple five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So this will fit on a sort of six by eight card, but you could make the sizes a little bit smaller. And we're going to put something top and bottom. So what I want to do is just emboss this central panel. So you would simply take an embossing folder. I'm using the Merry Words from last year's collection. And I'm simply going to pop the card in and let it overhang on the top and the bottom. And we'll simply run that through our die cutting machine to emboss the pattern in. And we'll get this. And hopefully you can see there we've got that really soft, subtle embossed image. Nothing at the top and the bottom, but it doesn't matter because we're going to cover that. So what we want to do now is to start by cutting our baubles. So I've got two pieces of card here and these are just scraps of card. So the size is immaterial. I've got coconut white and I've got emerald gloss card. Again, both from Craft Artist. And I'm going to take the snowflake insert die and the outline die to cut in the white to start with. So I take a long piece of tape. I'm using the Craft Artist low tack tape. Pick up the central die that allows me to hover over and make sure that it's in the right place, the outside die, and place it onto our card. And if you're careful with your card, you can use this waste piece as an aperture for another project. So all I want need to do now is to simply run that through my die cutting machine. So we would run that through as standard and we'll get the beautiful patterned piece. And I've got a piece here that I've already got cut. So you can see exactly how we get that pattern. And you've got the sort of Helen's Holly pattern on the top and bottom again, which goes through all of the baubles. And this time it's holding some beautiful snowflakes in the middle. And the snowflakes are matched to the snowflakes that have been used in the John Next Door collections for the last couple of years, so that everything has a beautiful harmony and makes everything match together. So now we need to cut a backer for this. So taking this time just the outside die, I'm going to tape that down to a piece of green gloss card. So this is emerald, again, craft artist card. And we're simply going to cut that. And this is what we'll get. And I've already applied a little bit of spray glue to the back of this decorative bauble. So I place it on by matching up the crown at the top and then pull it down and press with the flat of my palm to make sure it's nicely and simply stuck down. And you can see there, how we've got all of the details showing with that beautiful colour over the top. What I would then do is to move on and cut one of the other baubles in a contrasting colour. So if you can see here, I've actually cut in the gloss, the leaping stag with the holly, and I've put it against an emerald satin background. So now I simply need to take a piece of ribbon. I'm using a striped grow grain ribbon, feed it through, and tie this off. Really nice and simple. So that it actually hangs on a proper hang as if it was hanging on a Christmas tree. And obviously you could make these and hang them on Christmas trees and they work out absolutely beautifully. So now we need to add a little bit of foam tape onto the back of these. And so I'm going to take the one I want in the background, which will be the white one. Actually, I'm going to use the green one. And I put one strip of foam tape running down the centre of that bauble. I'm going to take the one I want a little bit more in the foreground and run one strip down exactly the same through the centre. I'm then going to take off the protective tape and run a second piece so that this sits prouder than the first. Really very simple. 
Okay, and there we've got our two beautiful baubles. So now I'm going to bring in my background piece, which has got the embossed panel, and I'm using two border strips, and these are from a later collection. So you will be able to use and substitute something else, or alternatively, once these ones are launched, you'll be able to use these. I think these are Sam's Snowflake Borders. So I'm just gonna put the bottom one down, I'm then going to take the bauble that is to be in the foreground, or the background, should I say, reveal the tape, and I'm putting that so it's hanging just slightly above this bottom. I don't want to put the top on yet. I'm going to reveal the tape on the second bauble, and I'm placing that slightly higher and overlapping, making sure there's an even distance from the sides, and we tape that down. And then we simply need to take our two strips of ribbon, pull them evenly to the top. And then I've already got some foam tape on here. So I'm going to reveal the foam tape and just pull those over. Take a little bit of sticky tape and tape those ribbons down and trim off the excess. I do exactly the same with the other piece. So again, overlap those ribbons get it nice and straight hanging, bring it over onto the foam tape, take a little bit of sticky tape, tape those down and cut off the excess. And this is where working on the watercolour medium out with the silicon works really well because I can put that down and I don't have to worry about the tape sticking to the silicone. I'm then going to reveal the tape on this last strip and you could make a border strip out of the Leaping Stag Square die if you want to do that. But I'm just gonna evenly place that on to cover where they're hanging. So we've got that beautiful hanging down look. And then I've got a card blank here cut to six by eight inches and I've matted and layered this. So I have an emerald green gloss layer cut at six and, and five and three quarters by seven and three quarters and a white mat on top of that. And I'm simply going to pop that into place. So we've got seven and a half by five and a half is our white mat, seven and three quarters, five and three quarters, and a six by eight card blank. And we stick that one down with a top fold and we then simply need to decorate this. Now I've already tied two bows using the same matching ribbon and I've attached these to a little couple of glue dots, but glue dots won't work forever. So I also use a little bit of glue gel. So I simply peel off my bow with a glue dot on either side, sort of on the flowery bits of the bow. And I'm gonna take a little bit of glue gel and pop that into the center. And then I'm going to hang those just on that where the knot is and stick them down. You can see that the glue dots will actually hold the bow in place until the glue sets. If you just use glue dots, you will find eventually they will start to fall off. The glue dots are never strong enough to hold things on permanent, permanently. So a little bit of glue gel in the center. We've got glue dots either side, either side of the knot and press down. And we can then arrange the little tails of the bow and clean up anywhere. I can see a little bit showing. So let's just take that from the glue dot off. And there we've got our hanging baubles. And it's simply then a case of finishing any decoration. So I'm using Pearl Dimension in white from Craft Artist. And I'm just going to pipe a little bit of that out on my mat first to check. And pop tiny little dots just in the center of each of the snowflakes to bring that white color back in. And you can, if you want to use stick on pearls, but obviously using the pearl dimension, it's a lot more econ economical. And it does give you a little bit more scope for the size, etc. So I've got those running the center and I'm just gonna pop one slightly bigger in the center of that snowflake and one in the center where the berries meet, you can add more where the sort of holly berries match, which is what I'm just doing now. That's going to be covered, so I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to do exactly the same just on the leaping stag one. 
So a little bit of the pearl, just where those meet the branch. There we go. And there we have our completed card. Quite clean and effective, but has a beautiful sheen and shine to it and really is sort of one of those mantelpiece pleasing cards. For more hints, tips, ideas and inspiration, why not visit the Crafting with John next door and Crafts 2 group on Facebook? Enjoy. Music